What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And in today's video is going to be my monthly series. Well, we kind of missed last month, but uh, we are definitely <laughs> trying to get back on track. So this is should you start playing the Dissidia Opera Omnia for the month of October in the year 2021. And before we do start, like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help the channel, guys, and I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's start this video. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to start this off with a lot of quality of life improvements. First of all, is going to be the auto sale system, which means you can basically auto sale the three star and four star weapons and armors that pop up in your pools. Since for the most part, not a lot of people are actually using it. So this is a nice quality of life addition. The next one is a pretty minor one as well. And this, this is going to be like a push notification, basically letting you know when a, you know, when a new player basically comes up whether you're as a guest or a host or whatever the case may be they will you know play a little sound to let you know okay there's a new person if you are not looking and you're just waiting for uh your party to fill up the next quality of life change is probably my favorite one because this basically lets you clear like the chaos difficulty fight even though you just basically clear the challenge quests they basically are the same difficulty level however you know you have uh, currently at least at the time of this making this video you have to basically clear the chaos level and then go back and you know it unlocks the challenge quest and then you have to clear the challenge quest that's not the case anymore basically the challenge quest will open up as soon as you get to the chaos difficulty level of the event and once you clear the challenge quest it will automatically clear the chaos event and the same thing uh, with Lofinia Plus, as you guys probably know, we are getting a new difficulty Lofinia Plus. If you clear the Plus variant, basically you will automatically clear the normal Lofinia fight. Now the next one is a small little campaign with Twitter. Basically we are supposed to retweet, I think the burst videos, and basically we get rewards for this. So get your Twitter account out and make sure you retweet. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going, who are going to do this, but nonetheless, I encourage you to do it and do your part as well. All right, now let's get into what you actually came to this video for and that is the events what are the events coming to october 2021 so the first one is going to be the autumn festival now the first one here is kind of like like in synergy with the pandemonium event so uh first eight multi free so eight free first multi draws coming throughout the month uh we get that times two cycle rewards and character appearances limited time panel missions and limited stickers as well and as i mentioned this is in sort of in synergy with the world of illusions divine pandemonium event which will be getting the first burst plus uh, zidane will also be getting his first burst oh maybe the only burst i'm not really sure why i said it like that but he will be getting his burst weapon and his ld weapon on the banner and ishtola will be getting a reprint for her um ld and burst as well both of them you can burst plus if you want or bt plus and that is the newest thing that we are going to be getting and of course zidane and ishtola will be getting reworks as well and moving on to other events coming out on October. On the 4th, we are going to be getting Guy's Lost Chapter. So you now have the opportunity to recruit Guy. And the banner for this one will include Zidane's Burst Weapon, as, long, as well as the LDs for both Guy and Sync. Now, Sync's going to be a new LD. And then on the 7th of October, we get Sid Rain's LD and all his kit is going to be the new character event. So this will still feature Zidane's uh, burst weapon and alongside it will be of course Sid Rain's and Mog's uh, LD weapon I believe and you, we will be getting free multi draws for both of these banner at least the first one. Sync will be getting a rework on this one as well. 
Now moving on to the 13th of October, we are going to be getting the next tier for Dimensions End. Ace will get a rework and the banner for these Dimensions End is basically going to be Ace's burst weapon of, and of course his LD weapon alongside with Kimari's uh, LD. Now the other banner which is going to be a returning burst is going to be featuring Bart's burst weapon. Now both of these burst weapons can be uh, plus? plus? Is, <laughs> is that even how we're going to say it? Both of these bursts can be plus or, or enhanced. I don't know what how to say it, but this will be going on with a co-op event as well. Now, for me personally, I think I I do have enough burst tokens, and I am probably going to burst token um, Bart's burst weapon here. But of course, there are free multi pulls, so I am going to try my luck and see if I can get it with the free multi draw. Now moving on to the 15th of October, we are finally going to get Arnea's Lost Chapter. And for the banner for this one, we'll include Arnea's LD and Prompto's LD. You will also get the chance to get Ace's Burst Weapon on this banner. This is going to be getting a free multi-draw as well. And then on the 20th of October, we are going to be getting a co-op event, which will feature Quist. This is LD banner. So this will obviously feature her LD and will also feature Palom's LD. You will also get the opportunity to basically get another chance at Ace's burst since it will be featured in this banner as well. Now guys, there is one more banner that I would like to feature here and this is going to be Zack's LD with Ash's LD and Ace's Burst is featured on this one as well. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with this because this was one of the 4th anniversary banners campaign and I'm not exactly sure where they're going to fit this and just to let you guys know that a lot of these banners that I'm showing you guys can be subject to change as well. I hope that uh, that is clear. <laughs> I know I didn't mention it at the start of the video, but these banners can be subject to change when it comes to global. They can change things up and yeah. So this banner, I'm not sure what they're going to do with it because the um, Athmau banner that we got uh, in global in JP was part of the fourth anniversary banner as well. So, and that included Tifa's LD as well. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with this. Would they put Zach's LD somewhere else? Uh, maybe we don't know. So hopefully we would still get the chance to pull for Zach's LD if he's one of your favorites. But then, oh, you know, I hoped that you will be have the opportunity to go for his LD weapon. All right, guys, that is basically it for this video. These are all the events that are coming out in the month of October, at least the ones that we know. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which ones are you most excited for? BT Plus, you know, Zidane, Ishtola, you know, whoever it is, Sid Reigns. Let me know down in the comments below. For me personally, my plan is basically to BT Plus, um, Bart's is a burst. Obviously, if again, if I get lucky and get his burst, then I use my token on someone else. But he is going to be my priority. Sid Reigns is probably the other one that I'm going to be pulling with using gems and the rest are probably going to be tickets. Uh, at least that's my plan, but obviously plans seem to change all the time. So <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that is it for this video. And oh yeah, before I do go, uh, I guess I can answer the question, should you start playing, right? And I really think this is a good time to actually start playing 
the City of Opera Omnia. Although there is going to be new difficulty level, a lot of the characters that are coming up are very, very useful. Sid Reigns can definitely help you a lot with, with older content, and Bart's BT is amazing as a support type of burst effect. Um, obviously, there are other characters. Zidane is completely okay as well, as well as Ustola. Um, but yeah, for me, those are the two top characters. And I think if you got, are going to start playing, I think you should aim for those two, at least in my personal opinion. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help this channel and would really really appreciate it as well if you share this video to other dfo players and uh, hopefully they find this a little bit interesting and subscribe as well um, make sure to follow me on twitter and on facebook at munchkins gaming this is munchkins logging off thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next level